So I grew up listening to 50 Cent. I used to recite his own lyrics and act like it's my song. You feel me? Like, and then after I'll go play it for my friends, like, yo, listen to my new song. And, and after some of my friends would be like, bro, that's 50 Cent song. And then some of my friends won't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Who doesn't know 50 Cent? Nah, but like at that <laughs> time, Maybe. like at that time, like some of my friends didn't know 50 Cent. My mom, my mom put me on 50 Cent. Yeah, my mom put me and my brother on 50 Cent. She went to a 50 Cent concert. Uh, she got pictures and everything. And then she came back with a C- CD, and she was just, that's all she was playing in her house, 50 Cent. <laughs> I remember the CD in my house and everything. Was it Get Rich or Die Trying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how did you and 50 meet? Uh, 50, you know what's crazy? Uh... I did like a show for like for the for the low like I picked up a show for the low I was like oh yo it's 50 cent show I just picked it up I said yeah give me whatever you know you were opening were yeah you? I was opening for 50 that's crazy you know I, in Boston shit okay yeah so I opened up for 50 at one of his concerts someone like had the plug for me DJ Charlie he had the plug for me like yo I got this show so when he's like he was DJing the sh- the Boston show he brought me along and then I did my show I killed it and then I went to the back room to go meet 50 and shit and he was just he was rocking with me off the rip he's like yeah who's this young young nigga walking in here you know what I mean and I remember all I could do was try to get my words off to 50 like and he was playing pool and stuff you know what I mean and then he gave me a bottle of champagne, and I don't, I will, I don't even, I wasn't even drinking champagne. You, you feel me? So like, I forgot about the champagne because I even forgot the champagne in the room because I kept trying to talk to Fifty, like, and Fifty was ta- talking to me and stuff. But he was saying stuff to me, and I'm trying to say whatever I need to say off to get off to him. You know what I mean? And then after, eventually. Eventually, he's like, man, yeah, I fuck with you. And then after, we end up leaving, and I end up getting contact with him and stuff, like his manager, him, um, Tony Yale. He al- he already knew who I was. He's like, Pressa, ah, nah, nah, I fuck with you from Toronto, man, real gangster from Toronto. You know what I mean? So from there, I end up just rolling with Tony Yale that whole night. <laughs> like, You know what I mean? Because Tony Yale was just saying yo yo what we doing tonight like you know what i mean so like he was he was just rocking with me like to that night so then we end up just chilling vi- vibing and then after he put me in touch with like a acting coach tony yale you know i end up chopping it up with tony yale about some stuff he put me on game i end up going to new york and up fucking with tony yale in new york in the studio you feel me so and then and then to- then I went to the party and 50 brought me out. And that's how we met. That's crazy. Yeah. Did he give you any advice? Uh, yeah, he he gave him some advice. But, uh, Anything you want to say? Nah, he just saying, like, like I'm a star and stuff. You know what I mean? Next up and stay on their necks, you know? Uh, he said a lot of stuff to me. And it's just, you know what I mean? Do you have a most memorable moment with Uh, yeah, that when he brought me out and stuff, like, I just went to his party, like, you know what I mean? Trigger, Trigger brought me to his party. Uh, we ended up going over to his section and stuff. Uh, then, I was just chilling and 50 say, yo, Yo, tell that little nigga come up here. <laughs> he said, yo, yo, come here, come here, come here, man. You know, he just called me out out of nowhere. You feel me? I was just chilling. You know what I mean? We're, we're vibing in the section and stuff. He's like, man, come, 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 come. And then after, he gave me he gave me the mic, and then I started performing. You feel me? And 50 was up there rocking with me on, on the stage. You feel me? Now, 50 year old nigga. That's that's one of my Biggest moments there too. He gonna 
put you in power? What's up? Yeah, I've been working on my acting classes and stuff, so, you know, eventually, one day, watch. I'll be in that bitch. I hear you. you have to manifest it.